everyone, my name is Nick. I work on mobile at Phantom. Phantom Wallet is arguably one of the best wallets in the Web3 ecosystem, especially because of their sleek design and UI, because they're one of the top wallets of one of the top blockchains in Web3. Phantom has also publicly launched the mobile version of their wallet. Initially, it started off as a Chrome extension, but now Phantom is going to be able to give access to more users everywhere through their mobile wallet. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to onboard and use the Phantom mobile wallet, as well as give a rundown of the interface. I'm also extremely lucky to be super close to one of the mobile engineers of the Phantom wallet. So at the very end, Nick Cruz is going to share some behind the scenes lessons, sneak peeks, and alpha about developments for Phantom. Let's go. All right, let's go step by step and learn how to get set up in your Phantom mobile wallet. These steps will work for anyone who's creating a new wallet or transferring over an existing wallet over to mobile. First step, go to the app store and download the wallet. Open up the app and you'll see this beautiful landing page. You can opt to either create a new wallet or import your own wallet if you already have one. Let's start with the flow of creating a new wallet. You click on that. You can enable your face ID or touch ID so you don't have to type your phantom password every single time you open the app. After you see that, you'll see a set of what you call your seed phrase. Make sure you keep that extremely safe. That's gonna be the way that you or anyone else will access your wallet. So you wanna make sure that you keep it in a very safe spot. And after that, you're done. Now let's backtrack. If you are importing an existing wallet, you click that button and you'll go to a screen where you can add in your seed phrase. So this should be the seed phrase similar to what you saw earlier on. It's a 12 or 24 word phrase. Type it in and on the next page, you'll see wallets that you can import. Now, if you click see more, you'll see a bunch of other wallets that are basically wallets that are created based on your seed phrase. Don't mind those if you haven't used them. Just select the ones that are already checked, which Phantom does for you, and you are done. You can now deposit Solana in your wallet if you haven't already and start using the dApps in the ecosystem. Now let's walk through the interface of the Phantom wallet. I'm gonna talk about the ones that already exist in the Chrome extension fairly quickly, but I'm gonna give a bit more emphasis in what's new in the Phantom mobile wallet in particular. All right, here's what exists on both mobile and the Chrome extension. You can manage your tokens. You can deposit tokens from FTX or any other place into your Phantom mobile wallet. You can send tokens to other people. You can see all of your NFTs by clicking the NFT tab. You can also send or receive these NFTs directly from Phantom. You can start staking certain coins such as Solana directly from Phantom. Click on the swap tab and you'll be able to swap any coins that you have readily from your Phantom mobile wallet. You can also view your transaction history. And lastly, of course, you can view your settings and configure your settings at any point in time. Now, here's what's new with the Phantom mobile wallet as compared to the Chrome extension. Of course, you've already seen this. The onboarding flow is very revamped and refreshed. And I'm told that the transaction history is now infinite scroll compared to the Chrome extension. Another major thing is that because we're using your phone, 
you can click the QR code and scan other people's phantom QR codes to then add to your address book or send an NFT or a token. Here's me sending some USDC to Nick. Another major feature of the Phantom Mobile Wallet is the DAP browser. This is the last tab you want to click on the Phantom Wallet. What this does is lets you browse through any website or open up any DAP so you can connect and use those DAPs directly while connecting the Phantom Wallet. Let's do it for orca.so. Click on the DAP browser tab, the last tab at the very bottom of your wallet. So here I'm typing in orca.so and going directly to the Orca DAP. I connect to the Phantom Wallet directly from this DAP browser. You can easily do a swap. And lastly, let me go to Solend and connect my Phantom Wallet. And now I can try to lend. Look how Phantom pops out the very bottom so smoothly. Your browser even shows a history of your favorite websites that you've visited, so you can open them up anytime. A lot of this I don't even have to explain because Phantom is so intuitive and I'm really excited that it's finally a mobile with more developments to come. Speaking of, we're gonna soon hear from Nick Cruz, who's one of the mobile engineers of Phantom, and he's gonna share some alpha about some future developments Phantom has up their sleeves. Let's go. Hey everyone, I have a special guest. You have seen this guy before in some of my videos, but now instead of coming in as my partner, he is coming in as one of the mobile engineers of the Phantom Wallet. So yes, he and his team brought that entire experience to life. He's now gonna share some alpha in developments for the future of the Phantom Wallet, but also some of the behind the scenes sneak peeks and experiences for developing this wallet. So, Nick, would you like to introduce yourself for a bit? Hey everyone, my name's Nick. I work on mobile at Phantom. Uh, I've been there for about four months almost now, and it's been a total blast. Um, just been awesome developing the app. Uh, been loving it, learning a ton, and just, Bit, really awesome place to work and just really like it. So awesome. yeah, excited to get it out to the world. Cool, and he was hired by Phantom to build this mobile app. So he's really excited to finally have this launch out. So Nick, could you tell us why, why do you think mobile was such a big launch for Phantom? It's a really big launch for us and a big deal for us because one of our biggest things we want to do as a company is get as many users as possible, just high level. Ultimately, we'll, we can win on the user distribution and mobile is a huge play because a lot of time, having something in your browser, an extension in your browser, isn't the way that a lot of people like to interact with things and a lot of people like to interact with their phones. And most people have smartphones, so it's just a natural way to have Phantom and the whole experience in your pocket. There's actually more smartphones than humans human beings exist in the world. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. True fact. <laughs> awesome. So part of the Phantom mobile mission or why it's out there in the world is to onboard more users, not just Phantom, not just the Solana, but the entire entirety of Web3. What about for you? What do you think was the most exciting part about developing the Phantom mobile wallet? Yeah, to me, one of the best parts that I was most excited for was the fact that I could build on crypto and build on Solana. It's something that I really, really wanted to do was learn how to build in Web3 or on crypto. And it's a totally different mindset. A lot of different engineering thing, principles had to flip on its head. And it was a lot, it was a really, just a ton of learnings to go through. And that was really awesome. For me, it was also a great chance for me to learn how to do something on iOS. It's an iOS app uh, and we built a React Native app to build for both iOS and Android which will be coming out soon. That was really awesome. I can sort of say I'm officially an iOS developer, even though I came from an Android background before. Got it. So it was a lot of new learnings for you, exactly. being your first startup in the crypto space, and also transitioning from being an Android developer to now both an iOS developer and Android developer. Exactly. 
What about on the flip side? What were some challenges or difficulties for pushing out the Phantom Mobile Wallet? Yeah, so one of the challenges we had was we basically wanted to ship it out as quickly as possible because it was really hyped up. We really wanted to get it out. So just speed, getting it out in a reasonable amount of time. Another challenge was, and this is more specific to React Native, was a lot of the libraries we used for crypto and Solana Web3, we had to either write ourselves or find weird replacements of or alt libraries or something like that. And we had to do it in a safe and correct way of actually like say deriving seeds from your mnemonic, your backup phrase in the correct way. And the libraries that we used in the extension didn't necessarily work out of the box. So we had to come up with alternative ways to doing it. Got it, because it was so new and you're the pioneers in this space effectively. A lot of things you had to create your own instead of use existing libraries yeah. because they didn't exist. Yeah, exactly. Any other challenges? Another challenge we had for building the app was the dApp browser. So we want to give it, give you a way for you to actually connect to dApps, decentralized apps in the Solana ecosystem on the internet. And that's really hard to do if you're on a mobile setting. So we packaged a browser for you to just do it in the app and you can just connect and sign and approve transactions all inside the app. And for me, that was one of the weirdest things I've ever done because you actually have to inject JavaScript from the app into the some of the surrounding app into the website that you're rendering we launched it to beta users and then everyone just loved it it was surreal seeing everyone's positive feedback on it and just how much they loved it and awesome and it sounds like you know this is not the end for phantom or phantom mobile can you tell us some non-confidential alpha or things that are going to be coming out for phantom or phantom mobile in the near future yeah so definitely getting an Android app out for sure. I'm an Android developer and Android user, so I can't actually even use Phantom Mobile, but I will soon. So that's the first thing for sure. We definitely want Ledger support in there and we're not launching it because it's a little bit complex to do on a phone and there's like Bluetooth and all that, but it will be there to get so I can use my Ledger wallet. We're thinking about like hacking on some widgets like Android and iOS widgets just to have it have a little bit more presence in mobile. And uh, we've been working with other other partnerships and this is like slightly confidential, slightly non-confidential of just like Solana being more mobile or crypto being more mobile and working with other dApps on apps that they're working on, mobile apps, working with ways to connect with them. So it feels a lot more native and a lot more mobile than, a, than maybe a dApp browser. So you'll be able to enjoy it in a different different form factor. Awesome. So we actually have additional alpha and sneak peeks to share. So we're going to insert this segment into the video. Nick, take it away. Yeah, so no promises, but Phantom is looking into exploring other blockchains, not just Solana. And we're also thinking about how to make the new user process for onboarding more seamless so we can get a lot of new users. And lastly, we're really thinking about decentralized app discoverability so you can see which dApps other people are using or which dApps you can use and enjoy. We want to focus on those things past the mobile app. Cool. Back to our past selves. Cool. And to wrap up, what are some ways for users of the Phantom Mobile Wallet to give feedback or share any bugs or ask for any feature requests? You can reach out to to Phantom on Twitter. We're verified now, so there should be a check mark. Don't fall for any other scams. Uh, that's one way. You can also go to help.phantom.app. That's kind of a good hub for support articles, how to's. And there's also a submit feedback and you can kind of go through and see like, oh, there's a beta or iOS app and you can just submit feedback through there. And then we do look at it. We had engineers assigned the tickets too. So yeah, we, we do look at the feedback, so. Awesome. Appreciate it. There you have it, folks. Nick, one of the mobile engineers for Phantom Wallet. Check it out. Share some feedback. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Bye.